Hello, this is part two of restoring a, um, a Sheffield straight razor. I have the scales, they're taken out of the resin, and they are looking good. Um, I think they've stiffened up in that resin. I'm pretty sure they did. They feel stabilized. <clears throat> I did use a scraper to get rid of the um, dust contamination in the darker wood. They're looking really good. So um, now we have to make the scales. And the scale has been another big debate on what material to use. I was going to use a stone type of material. I, thought, I even thought about using leather. I think I'm going to stick with the old plan and use some winch. So um, I'm going to measure what we need. Um, what, what scales do is when the razor sw uh, swings down into the scales, I'll show you better this when it's assembled, um, the razor jams in the gap so the blade doesn't come back down through the bottom. It protects the razor's edge and it protects everything else from being cut. So that's, that's the purpose of the scales. It's, mostly to protect the razor edge and to protect everything else from the razor edge. Uh, so that wedge has to be just the right width to give you just the right gap to wedge that razor in place. They need to be... Okay, that's where it's going to jam close to. So one, one point three three millimeters. So that's not very thick. And that's about where it needs to be. I might be able to get away with something a little bit thicker. Maybe two millimeters. I might be able to get away with a two millimeter. So I need a two millimeter wedge.
So the wedge is shaped, looks pretty good, I'm not sure, no. maybe it'll look better when it's done, but I'm, I'm wondering if I should have went with a different material. Let's flatten the other side a bit, next I'm going to use a 200 grit diamond hone here. which I know to be flat. There we go. Okay, I have the wedge pinned, as you can see. I love the faceted look of a hand-peened wedge, of a hand-peened pin. Isn't that cool looking? There's the wedge. It's in there. It needs a little bit of sanding. Just to position it a little bit better. That is good looking. Now, um, I did that off camera, mostly. So I'll show you how we put together the pivot pin next. <laughs> 